is Nick from Arch City Poker and ArchCityPLO.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about avoiding check raising uh, versus loose passive players and really any unknown player within a live low stakes population. So the reason for this, and, and I'm going to talk about mainly value check raising. I'll, I'll get into bluff check raising in a minute. But the, the main reason that we really just want to keep betting and avoiding check raising or avoid check raising, I guess is what I meant to say, is that these loose passive players, they're not going to bet for thin value often enough. They're also not going to be induced into bluffing enough. So the way to exploit them, uh, the way to make money off of them, is to simply by keep value betting, opposed to giving up the betting lead and hoping that they put in a bet themselves for thin value or put in a bet as a bluff so that you can put in that large check raise, uh, trying to get extra money into the pot. It, it's just not going to work often enough against these guys. Now, if we go on the flip side of that uh, with bluff check raising, the problem in that spot is when they do go to bet, if they're not value betting thinly enough and they're not bluffing enough, if you're not inducing them into bluffs often enough, they're generally going to be betting with hands that they feel pretty comfortably about. They, they feel like they're betting for value, they're likely not going to bet fold. So if we go for check raise, we're really just narrowing their range um, to really the strongest parts of that range. So avoid the check raise. Um, there are going to be some spots, this isn't just an absolute, there are really no absolutes for the most part in poker. Um, you're going to be able to check raise uh, when, you, when you are trying to implement a bluff. Uh, some of the time it's going to be rare. There might be a time where you deem this to be a very rare spot that a value check raise makes uh, the most sense, actually, and it might net the most expected value. <clears throat> but for the most part, uh, just keep betting. And, and again, when we're talking about mainly value betting, um, but if you are barreling, that's usually not going to be the best way to make money off of the loose passive players. They usually are just more stationy. We just want to widen our value betting range. And I, I think you guys know that. You've watched a lot of my videos. That's what I stress uh, against these types of populations. But avoid the check raise. Uh, just keep betting. Keep it simple. That's going to be the best way to make money off of these guys. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, let me know in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. Click on the link to archcityplo.com. I now have, I think it's close to 90-plus videos on the site now. Um, added no limit hold'em content as of I think it was three weeks ago now, uh, but that site is growing like crazy. I'm uh, adding content still on average daily, so go ahead and uh, check that out, and I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.